nope, no way to save settings. Oh well. But it's fixed. Second hit. Everybody's registering on the on audio, so let's do the damn thing. Definition. What Mark Leota found out when his roommate confessed to having a concealed carry permit. The answer? Jamie's got a gun. <laughs> and that's the way you play that game of Palm of the Prime Definition. Yeah. And here's the host of Definition, the guy that brings all the coins, all the fun, and all the lines, Jason Byers. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Definition here on the NBG Network. Glad you could join us here today. If you tuned in to last week's episode, you witnessed uh, another champion added to the retired champions list. Russ Bielefeld walked out of here as a five-time champion with $60,500 in cash to his credit. Can we add another champion before we get to the end of the season? We'll find out as we introduce our first two contestants for this half of the episode. And they are two fellow Tennesseans battling each other. Starting with the person to my left. He is from Rocky Top, Tennessee. He is a delivery driver. Please welcome back, Justin Ray. How you doing? Yeah. What's going on? Uh, not much. What's going on with you? How have you been since the last time we saw you? Well, I'm not a delivery driver anymore, at least for Grubhub. Oh? They can stick it where the sun don't shine. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll get that the nicely. details on that one after the show ends. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what are you doing uh, now? Well, I'm still working for the local pizza restaurants. Uh, I'm still... I guess you could still call me a delivery driver because that's what I'm doing there. I'm still serving pizzas. Nice. Business is slow right now, but give it a while, and I believe we'll pick back up once everything starts getting snow. Go away. <laughs> snow, go away. We've had fun for this year. We don't want to see you ever again, at least not till next year, right? Right. Well, Justin... I know you're now tied down to one job, and I know you could use some of the money from this show. Yeah, what are your plans for the money? Should you happen to become champion again? Well, I actually wouldn't oh, mind maybe getting something a little better on delivering because these roads around here aren't the best for a coupe, especially for a low coupe like what I got. So you're suggesting 22 inch rims? Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right. I don't think those will fit under my car. You'd be but... surprised. <laughs> but no, anyways, they're... Justin, we wish you the best of luck on this episode. We also wish the best of luck to your fellow Tennessee and, and opponent for this half of the episode. He comes to us from Knoxville, Tennessee. He's a guest ambassador for Burger King. Please welcome back. Brandon Hagel, how you doing? Hey. Hey, thank you. Thank you, y'all. Oh, y'all too kind. Thank you. How y'all doing today? We're doing great. What about yourself? I'm doing awesome. I'm doing awesome. What have you been up to since the last time we saw you? Well, I just been taking back, you know, I saw the finale of the Mass Panther, and boy, it was good, and, and I, I can't wait to watch 10th, because it's the mass Singer of Season 5 is coming back, and boy, I'm up for it. I will tell you this right now. No spoilers, please. I don't want people in the audience rushing up on the stage trying to beat you up for it. Just saying. Right. I'm trying to, I'm trying to oh, save boy, your no life, boy. Dan. Oh, if they never saw the show and they ask me who won, then I'll just whisper in their ear. That's all. Uh, good enough. But on the other hand, you're good. You're good. good enough. <laughs> and what do you plan on doing with the money should you happen to become champion today? Well, if I did be, try to become champion, a uh, gift for my girlfriend to get for a late Valentine's Day because unfortunately my dad um, fell during the snow and um, broke his arm, you know, and he had to have surgery and had screws in his arm or, or hands oh, now. Oof. 
think you might want to. I had to post on my Valentine's say for March 6th because of that incident, you see. So, I think you might want to devote some of that money okay. to your dad's operation, I would think. Yeah, that I'll do that first, and then I'll get a nice expensive um, present for my girlfriend. There you go. Well, good luck. Yeah, to I'll the... take care of my. I'll take care of my dad first, and then my girlfriend. Right, right. Well, good luck to the yeah, both yeah. of you. You both know how to play this, so I don't have to say anything except for you, Justin. We're gonna start with you since you're the person sitting to my right. So here we go with the first definition of the night. Definition. A condition where you spontaneously tell jokes at random times. Justin, do you have any idea what the puzzle is with nothing revealed? No. Brandon, what about you? Negative, sir. All right, then let's play a definition. So, Justin, give a letter to Brandon. Going to have to give him the X first. Right out of the gate, it's a trap. It's a trap! Oh. It's in the puzzle. Ooh. It's the last letter of the second word. So, Brandon, right out of the gate, a free guess for you. A condition where you spontaneously tell jokes at random times. Mm, the Matrix? Not that kind of, not that kind of condition, but it was a free guess anyway, so give a letter to Justin. I'll give him the L. Yeah, we're off to a fantastic stop, aren't we today? There is an L in the puzzle, it's in the second word as well. So Justin, Ooh. now you get a free guess. A condition where you spontaneously tell jokes at random times. Negative. All right, it was only a free guess, so give a letter to Brandon. How about Zed? Yay, finally somebody gave away a letter that's not in the puzzle, and now take a letter. <laughs> well, good. How about an A? A is good, there's only one, it's in the first word. Justin, I ask you again. We're looking for a condition where you spontaneously tell jokes at random times. Pass. All right, Brandon. I'll give him the Q. No Qs. Take a letter. Is there a D? No Ds either, unfortunately. Justin. Hmm. How about V for victory? No V's. Take a letter. O. No O's either. Brandon? Okay, I'll give him the Y. No Y's. Take a letter. Okay, is there a C? No C's. Justin. Hmm. Interesting. G. That's a bad give. There's two G's in there, and they're both in the first word. Good grief. So, Brandon, a free guess for you. A condition where you spontaneously tell jokes at random times. No guess. All right. It's only a free guess anyway, so give a letter to Justin. I'll give him the U. No U's. Take a letter. M? No. No M's. Justin. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I'll give him... B is in boy. No boys. Take a letter. Thank God for that. <laughs> uh, I'll take an R, please. R is good. It's the first letter of the second word. Justin, we're looking for a condition where you spontaneously tell jokes at random times. 
gag reflex. There you go. I've been holding I've been holding my mouth the entire time on this one. <laughs> I knew the answer. Well don't do that. Your your lips will go numb. Well there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, you're up one nothing. Brandon, we go to you since you're behind. The second definition looks like this. Definition. A tired dragon's favorite steak. <laughs> Brandon, a, tired, a tired dragon's favorite steak? Yep. Do you have any idea what the puzzle is with nothing revealed? Not a clue. <laughs> Justin, what about you? No, don't. All right. clue yet. Let's play a definition then. So, Brandon, give a letter to Justin. Okay, let's get that Z out of the way. No Zs. Take a letter. Okay, let's start off with a T. No Ts either. Hmm. Justin. Q. No Qs. Take a letter. R. No R's either. Oh. Brandon. Okay, let's give him the X. No X's. Take a letter. Okay, there's bound to be an S in there. You would think that, but no. No Ooh. S's. Really? Justin. Okay, then. Did not see that coming, then. How about a B as in boy? Again, no boys. Take a letter. Jason, that's going to come back to haunt you one of these days. <laughs> How about an L? There is an L. It's in the first word. It's the second letter. Well, then. Justin, what would be a tired dragon's favorite steak? I'm out. All right. Too early. Brandon. I'll give him the Y. Bad give. It's in the puzzle. It's the first letter of the second Ooh. word. Oh, we did not see that coming. Ooh. Justin, a free guess for you. A tired dragon's favorite steak. Don't know. It was only a free guess anyway, so give a letter to Brandon. V is in Victor. No V's. Take a letter. I. I is good as one I. It's in the first word. So I ask you again. We're looking for a tired dragon's favorite steak. Mm -mm. All right. Brandon. Okay, let's give him the A. Bad give. It's in there twice. Holy moly! Once in the first word, once in the second. So, Justin, free guess for you. A tired dragon's favorite steak. Dragon's favorite steak. Don't know. It was a free guess anyway, so give a letter to Brandon. You? No use. Take a letter. Okay. E? No E's either. Brandon. Hmm. Okay, I'll give him the K. No K's. Take a letter. Is there a G in there? There is a G. It's the last letter of the first word. Brandon, we're looking for a tired dragon's favorite steak. Flaming Young? He got it. Clever, <laughs> 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 Oh, my God. Oh, wow, Jason. Wow. 
Finally oh, on. Jason Myers said it again, ladies and gentlemen. So, Brandon, you managed to tie it up one apiece. So, since you instigated the tie, we go to Justin to break the tie. I finally got one. <laughs> that, hey, keep the train rolling. That's what I say. Anyways, here we go with the next definition. It's how India and Pakistan call each other out. Oh, good. Oh, my. <laughs> Justin, do you have any idea what the puzzle is with nothing revealed? Not without getting us canceled. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if He's the puzzle wrong. a few days a few days ago didn't get us canceled, I doubt this yeah. one will. But anyway, Brandon, do you have any idea what the puzzle is? What nothing revealed? <laughs> not yet, sir. Not yet. All right, then let's play definition. So, Justin, give a letter to Brandon. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Gonna have to give him X to start off. The X is take a letter. T. T's good. One T and a second word. Justin, it's how India and Pakistan call each other out. Mm -mm. All right. Too early. Brandon. I'll give Justin the V as in vacuum. No V's. Take a letter. I'll take the R, please. R is good. There, there's one R. It's in the first word. It's the last letter of the first word at that. So, Brandon, we're looking. Yeah, Brandon, it's how India and Pakistan call each other out. <laughs> I don't know. Not yet. I don't know. Calm down. If you okay. don't know, you don't know. You don't have to go know, to psycho over it. Just hmm. calm down. It's only a game. I know. I know. I know, I know. It's not. It's not like we got wires hooked up to you. Uh, never mind. Oh, uh, Justin. <laughs> yeah, just, no. Let's do a Q, please. No That's Qs. Take said, a letter. No. In. No in. Brandon. Oh my God. I'll give Justin the zebra. No Zs. Take a letter. Sorry, straps don't look okay, good. Okay, I'll take a C. No C's either. Justin, back okay. to you. Okay, that's surprising to me. Okay. Bad give. It's in the puzzle. It's the first letter of the first word. So, Brandon, free guess for you. It's how India and Pakistan call each other out. Nope. All right. It's only a free guess anyway, Sorry. so give a letter to Justin. Okay, I'll give Justin a yellow. I hope by yellow you mean the letter Y, because if you do, yeah, there are no I, Ys, I, I, so take I, a letter. Yeah. Okay, I'll take the S. That's bound to be an S in there. There is an S. In fact, there's two S's, one in the first, one in the second. Ooh. Brendan, I ask you again. It's how India and Pakistan call each other out. Negative, sir. All right, Justin. You. Bad give again. It's in the puzzle. It's in the second word. My second God. Letter. So, Brandon, another free guess for you. It's how India and Pakistan call each other out. No, sir. All right. It's only a free guess, so give a letter to Justin. I'll give Justin the O. Oh, boy. That is in the puzzle. Whoopsie. Yeah, All right, so well, now Justin, I don't feel so bad. Free guess for you. It's how India and Pakistan call each other out. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I got it. I just got it, too. <laughs> don't know. All right, there's only a free guess, so give a letter to Brandon. W? No W's. Take a letter. I 
Eyes good. There are two eyes. One on the first, one in the second. Okay, good. I was thinking there was only one. So, Justin, I ask you again. It's how India and Pakistan call each other out. Cashmere outside. There you go. Cashmere outside. How about that? Anyways. <laughs> Probably gonna get canceled after this. No, we're not gonna get canceled. I ran this one by the censors and they were okay with it. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, Justin, you're up two to one, so Brandon, we go to you to try to catch up. I did my best, sir. Definition. The science fiction writer that is the best source of liquid mercury. And I will caution you players, there is some punctuation in this puzzle, so keep that in mind. Brandon, do you have any idea what the puzzle is with nothing revealed? Not yet, sir. Justin, what about you? Clue again, please. The science fiction writer that is the best source of liquid mercury. Nah. We're going to have to go to the puzzle. All right. Let's play definition. So, Brandon, give a letter to Justin. Okay, I'll give Justin the zebra again. No Zs. Take a letter. Okay, let's start off with a T. No Ts either. Okay. Q, please. No Qs. Take a letter. N. No ends either. Brandon. Okay, I'll give him the G. Bad give. It's in the puzzle. It's in the first word. Whoopsie. So, Justin, a break for you. A free guess. The science fiction writer that is the best source of liquid mercury. I got the first word, but I don't on the second. All right. It's only a free guess anyway, so give a letter to Brandon. X. No, X is. Take a letter. H. H is there. First letter. Okay. Ask you that again. rules out what I thought. I ask you again. The science fiction writer that is the best source of liquid mercury. Mm. Now, Brandon. Okay, I'll give him the Y. No Y's. Take a letter. Is there an M? No M's either. Just okay, so it's not what I thought it was on the bottom then. P. No P's. Take a letter. R. No R's. Brandon. Okay, I'll give Justin the V as in victory. No V's. Take a letter. Is there a C in there? No C's. Justin. Really? That's unusual. J. No J's. Take a letter. L. There is L. There are two L's. Both of them in the second word. Justin, we're looking for a science fiction writer that's the best source of liquid mercury for the win. I'm up, Brandon. Okay, I'll give him the F. As in Frank. No F's. Take a letter. Okay. Is there a B in there? There is not. Justin. Okay, that's a shocker. 
Let's give him the K. The K's. Take a letter. E. E's good. One E in the second word. Thinking it was in the first one. Justin, we're looking for a science fiction writer that's the best source of liquid mercury. H.G. Wells? You're the champ. Good game, people. Good game, Justin. Well played, sir. Uh, I see a lot of confused uh, looks on people's faces out there. HG <laughs> yeah. is mercury, liquid mercury at that. So HG uh, Wells simple. is a it's science simple, fiction simple. writer. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I was thinking. I was thinking it was HG Mars HG. because that's why I called the M in there. Yeah. Nah, it's not Mars, but. Justin, you figured it out. You're going to the bonus definition in just a second, Brandon. Yes, Jason. You in the battle of the Tennessee Titans, that I would call this. <laughs> Justin, unfortunately, bested you, but you did manage to get one puzzle, so you're not leaving out of here empty-handed. We give you five hundred dollars for that one puzzle, and our thanks for playing. Did you have fun at least? I should, sure did. I should sure did, Jason. Sure? And I would love to come back in another episode, please. Oh. And, I, and I gave it my best shot, and I wish my good friend oh. Justin from Walking Up Tennessee. I wish him the good luck in the bonus round. Good luck, Thank Justin, you. and good luck in this wheel. Well, what can I say to that except give it up for Brandon Hinkle, everybody? <laughs> Yay! Thanks, everybody. I love y'all. Love you, baby. When we come back, Justin's going to take on the bonus definition and try to take us for a whole lot of money. How much will we take this for? We'll find out right after this. Definition, everybody. I'm here with Justin Ray, who's on his way through the main game, picked up $2,500. This is what, maybe a third time back here as a, as any kind of champion, even though it's not all uh, in the same run. I think so. So you pretty much know the layout of this. I don't have to say much of anything mm -hmm. to you. You know how this works. The quicker you can solve it, the more money you stand to make. So. Uh. If you're ready, if the audience is ready, let's take a look at your bonus definition. The reason why you should never leave sulfuric acid in a metal beaker. Now, Justin, I will inform you that if you could solve this puzzle right now with nothing revealed, that is $24,000 in cash I will give you right now. A reminder of the clue, the reason why you should never leave sulfuric acid in a metal beaker. Don't have it right now, unfortunately. Alright, then let's play definition. You know there's no give or take situation anymore. You just call out letters until you're able to figure out what the puzzle is. Let's start off with a T. T's good. There are one, two, three T's, at least $21,000 in the pot. Okay. A, please. One, two, three, four A's. That leaves 17000 in the pot. In one, two, three, four ends that leaves thirteen thousand in a pile. What's the clue? 
The reason why you should never leave sulfuric acid in a metal beaker. Dang, I don't know this. This is tough. Mm. Mm -hmm. An O? Two O's, 11,000 remaining in a pot. I'm such an idiot. An accident waiting to happen. You got eleven thousand oh, yeah. dollars. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, good one. Not such a way to oh my god. Okay. Good one. <laughs> good one indeed. Over again, Jason. Clever, clever. Yeah. Justin, that's eleven thousand dollars we add to everything you got from the front game so far in your runners champion this time you have thirteen thousand five hundred dollars in cash. And you can meet another opponent. Right after this. Don't go away, folks. We got more definition. <laughs> Back to definition, everybody. I'm here with my champion, Justin Ray. Got $13,500 to his credit so far. I, you've had a chance to breathe during the commercial break. You, you think you're ready for another opponent? Well, I think I'm a one and done on this show lately, so let's try to make it two instead of one and done this time. Hey, stranger things have happened on this show. I will say that much. I've seen the show on Netflix, so anything and everything can happen. But first, let's meet your opponent for this half of the game. He comes to us all the way from San Jose, California. He's a security guard. Please welcome Will Medina. How you doing? I didn't think I had to be back so fast, but thanks for about five hours. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> You owe me $5 at the poker game, remember? I'll pay you after the show. Anyways. Liar! Liar! <laughs> Anyways, Will, what have you been up to since the last time we've seen you on the show? Uh, let's see. After I lost to Adam, I went to get the Dr. Pepper, bought some more Dr. Pepper, listened to John talk about underwear, and listened to more Dr. Pepper. But I'm good. Let's get <laughs> Well, then. Let it be wow. known that Will Medina is an avid fan of Dr. Pepper. If you get it between him and Dr. Pepper, some bad things are going to happen. Anyways, anyways, Will, what are you planning on doing with the money should you happen to become champion besides buying more Dr. Pepper? I'm going to donate the money to Nels Nesrid Washington. He's out <laughs> wow. different right now, so he can't hear that. He's <laughs> no, I'm giving the championship right there off. He just said, damn, man. Well, if we didn't get canceled for the puzzle earlier, then no. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Anyways, uh, good luck to the both of you. Will, we're going to start with you since you're the challenger. So here we go. Definition. The one thing people can agree on when it comes to listening to Neil Diamond during the holidays. <laughs> Will, do you have any idea what the puzzle is with nothing revealed? Nope. Justin, what about you? Negatory. All right, then let's play a definition. So we'll give a letter to Justin. All right, let's give Justin the Z. The Zs. Take a letter. Try T as it's terrific. Well, there is one terrific T in the puzzle. <laughs> Well, what's the one thing people can agree on when it comes to listening to Neil Diamond during the holidays? All right, Justin. 
X. No X's. Take a letter. R. R is good as one R. It's in the second word. Justin, what's the one thing people can agree on when it comes to listening to Neil Diamond during the holidays? Gonna have to pass for now. All right, Will. Let let me give Justin the cue. No cues. Take a letter. Let's try the end. Ends good is one end. It's in the third word. Will, what's the one thing people can agree on when it comes to listening to Neil Diamond during the holidays? Not let Neil have the microphone at karaoke night. <laughs> I think we all can agree on that one. <laughs> Sorry, no guess. All right, Justin. I have to get that out, Jason. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I will give Will the V for victory. No V's. Take a letter. And I'll take an O. There's one O. It's in the second word. Justin, what's the one thing people can agree on when it comes to listening to Neil Diamond during the holidays? Mm-mm. No. Will. Uh, let's give Justin uh, Y. No Y's. Take a letter. So, the F. Two S's. One in the first, one in the last. <laughs> Will, what's the one thing people can agree on when it comes to listening to Neil Diamond during the holidays? No, don't know. No guess. All right, Justin. Here's where it gets fun. W. That's a bad give. It's in the puzzle. It's in the first word. So, Will, a free guess for you. The one thing people can agree on when it comes to listening to Neil Diamond during the holidays. I wish I'd say I knew it, but I still don't see it. So. All right, it was only a free guess, so give a letter to Justin. All right, let's get Justin the P. No P's. Take a letter. I will go ahead and take the F. What letter? I said F. No F's either. <laughs> Justin. Uh, I'll give him the M. No M's. Take a letter. L. There are two L's. One and a second, one and a third. Justin, what's the one thing people can agree on when it comes to listening to Neil Diamond during the holidays? Wheat Carol Lines. Da, da, da. <laughs> Greatest songs. Oh, yeah. oh my God. One of his greatest songs becomes a parody on the holidays, but it gets Justin one point. So, will we go to you since you're behind? So, we go with the next definition oh, it's how me. a diamond finds a mate. Will, do you have any idea what the puzzle is with nothing revealed? No. Justin, what about you? No. All right, let's play definition. So, Will, give a letter to Justin. 
I'm not trying to burn this. Uh, let's get Jeff to the Z. No Zs. Take a letter. S. What letter? S. No S's either. Justin. Q. No Q's. Take a letter. N. N's good. There are two N's. One in each word. Justin, it's how a diamond finds a mate. Nope. All right, Will. All right. Long victory on the chip. Um, let's give Justin the X. No X's. Take a letter. I'll take the T. T is good. One T in the second word. Will, it's how a diamond finds a mate. Is that legal? Anyway, no guess. All right, Justin. V for Victor. No V's. Take a letter. O. O's good. One O in the first word. Justin, it's how a diamond finds a mate. No. All right, Will. Let's give Justin the K. No K's. Take a letter. I'll try the R. R is good. One R in the first word. Will, it's how a diamond finds a mate. Nope. I don't see it. All right, Justin. Hmm. <laughs> F. No F's. Take a letter. P. No P's either. Uh, Will. I'm over here doing dishes. Why am I doing this? Anyway, uh, let's give Justin the Y. No Y's. Take a letter. The G. G's good. There's only one G, and I think you know where it goes. Well, it's how a diamond finds a mate. Nope, I still don't see it. All right, Justin. W. No W's. Take a letter. A. A is good. There are two A's, one in each word, and I think this might give it to you. So, Justin, it's how a diamond finds a mate. Carbon dating. There you go. Carbon dating. No. When you crush carbon, it turns into a diamond, blah, 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 science. Anyways, <laughs> Justin's up to nothing. <laughs> Justin, you're up to nothing. Will we go to you since you're behind still? So here we go with the next definition. And I apologize in advance for anybody that's watching from here. Another name for a sunburnt New Zealander. <laughs> Will do you have Will do you have any idea what the puzzle is with nothing revealed? Don't repeat it again. Another name for a sunburnt New Zealander. That, that sounds so wrong. <laughs> I don't have to guess. Justin, what about you? 
Mm, no. Nah. All right, let's play definition. We'll give a letter to Justin. Let's give Justin the X. No, X is. Take a letter. S. There is an S. It's the first letter of the first word. Will, what's another name for a sunburnt New Zealander? I could say it in Spanish, but not English, so no guess. <laughs> <laughs> Justin. Z. No Zs. Take a letter. N. No Ns either. Will. Uh, let's give Justin the Q. No Qs. Take a letter. Take the T. There is a T. It's a second letter in the first word. So one by one, you're filling the letters in, but can you tell me another name for a sunburnt New Zealander? <laughs> They don't see it. All right, Justin. How about K? That's a bad give. It's in the puzzle. It's in the second word. Oh. So, Will, a free guess for you. Another name for a sunburnt New Zealander. Nope. Don't see it. All right, it was only a free guess anyway, so give a letter to Justin. Let's give Justin the V. No V's. Take a letter. R. R is good. There are three R's. All three of them in the first word. Will, what's another name for a sunburnt New Zealander? <laughs> you got it, Russ. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep quiet. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, can't say I know no guess. Justin. I'll give Will an M. No M's. Take a letter. W. There is a W. In fact, there are two W's, one in each word. Justin, for the win, what's another name for a sunburnt New Zealander? Strawberry Kiwi. You're still the champ. <laughs> New Zealand, of course, is the home of the Kiwi. Yep. Uh, can they get better than this? They can. <laughs> Well, knowing Jason, I'm sure they can. And they will. Justin, you're going on to the bonus definition again in just a second. Well, aside from burning Nels's one tea and making the world rejoice for it. Um... <laughs> what? Anyways, well, you unfortunately, you didn't get any points, but you're not leaving out of here empty-handed. We'll give you a hundred dollars as a consolation prize. Out of thanks for playing. Did you have fun at least? Knowing that the <laughs> can go straight to hell, but I tried. <laughs> Oh, God. Give it up for Will Medina, everybody. Oh. <laughs> hey. When we come back, Justin's going to tackle the bonus definition again to see if, if he can take us for a whole lot more money. How much can we take this for? We'll find out after this. If we're still on the air. Yeah, here's the fourth. Oh, we're still on the air after this. <laughs> Everybody, I'm here with Justin Ray, who's got two wins under his belt now. Picked up another $2,500 from the main game. So far, you're running this champion. You have $16,000 to your credit. You said you, you said before we got to this point that you had a history of being one and done, but you got two wins now. How do you feel? Ah. Uh... 
I don't know. Present company here watching in the audience accepted. I don't know if <laughs> I'll get a third, but we'll see what happens. Hey, you made it this far. You can only go up from here. Just You can't have no in your heart, man. Be like Truth. Joe Dirt. <laughs> I'm not going to go into that whole spiel, but I will tell you <laughs> your bonus definition. It's what Zeus picked as Mount Olympus's national anthem. Now, judging by everything that's up there, I will tell you, you have $16,000 at stake. If you could tell me what this puzzle is, what nothing revealed. I'm going to guess some letters. All right, then let's play definition. You already know there's no give or take. Just call letters until you're able to figure it out. S. Right out of the gate, strike one. No S's. Oh. R. There is R. At least 15,000 in the pot. H. There is H14,000 in a pot. A. Strike two, no A's. Mm -hmm. Be careful, one more strike, the round ends, and you'll get nothing out of this. N. Ends good. There are two ends, at least 12,000 in a pot. E. E's good. Three E's, 9,000 in a pot. A reminder of the clue what Zeus picked as Mount Olympus's national anthem. Oh. oh Strike three, unfortunately. Ow. Audience, did anybody have any idea? What was the clue again? It's what Zeus picked as Mount Olympus' national anthem. It was Greek lightning. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. It was lightning. Damn. Yeah. I knew it. I couldn't figure out what to tie it with, though. I looked at it. It was like thunder. No. Yeah. But. Yeah. What? yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Dang, uh, beast lightning. That was so close. Yeah, unfortunately, no extra money added to mm. your total, but still oh. not bad for. Not, not bad for two wins as champion. $16,000, and you get to come back in the next episode to defend your championship and get to shake off this loss of the bonus round. You got to win the cover. Oh, what a shame. Oh, you don't give a shit. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but we know our champion yeah, gives I a was, shit. I was really sad when you lost. My ass, you were. <laughs> Anyways, Justin, we'll were. see you on the next episode. We hope to see you here in the next episode. In the meantime, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, tell the whole world about this show. We'll see you next time on Definition. Until then, this is Jason Myers saying so long. <laughs> <laughs>